Hi Devya, good afternoon. Uh, Hi. Tell us about your film, role in this film, Muna Darling. My role in this film, I am playing a character called Sara in the film and she is very feisty, confident, absolutely tomboyish, sporty uh, girl. She is in an IIT uh, college, she is 19 years old and she is very loyal to her friend Mona, that's the title role. So. Um, she is loyal and she's absolutely um, just determined to find out what happened to her and she's, she's gone missing and something has happened to her mm -hmm. and nobody's taking her seriously but she doesn't give up and that's the character she is. She doesn't give up. If she wants to do something, she'll just go and get it. And uh, which is very contrasting to Vicky's character who's her partner in crime mm -hmm. and who doesn't make friends easily, is very antisocial. So they kind of, when they meet for the first time, they clash and they don't get along very well. But he has to solve the mystery because that's the kind of mind he is. He likes to solve mysteries. And um, my character just wants to find her friend and wants to know what happened to her and wants to get her back. Your debut film was a thriller again. You yes. have a thriller again. Are you a thriller magnet? What, what is happening? I don't know. Maybe. I just want comedy, but nobody wants to give it to me, maybe. Okay. <laughs> maybe later. But yeah, I love watching thriller films myself. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge sci-fi fan as well. So this is kind of uh, different. It's not a period film like my first film. Mm -hmm. My character looks absolutely different. Uh, her personality still has some, some similar tones to it, but I think it's a very different character that I've played, even though it's a thriller. And uh, I really want comedy though. I, I do. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> you have been a fashion student, then you had your foray in uh, cinema. So, was it a deliberate thing or did it come to you accidentally? How was the whole transition? It came to me uh, accidentally, actually. I was working with Sabdi Saji, I was his uh, assistant. So, uh, Dipakar had gone to him for costume and he was trying to find his lead and he couldn't find Satyavati anywhere. So I just gave the audition because my boss, Sabya, actually forced me, like literally pushed me to go give the interview, uh, as in the audition. And I am a backstage person. I've never mm. been in front of the camera and I've never had any um, experience with acting or theater or putting myself out there in the limelight. So that was very difficult for me, but I think they groomed me very well for the workshops I did with Atul Mongia and Debakar. That really helped. So after that, I don't consider myself as an accidental actor anymore. I think I've made that switch. Hmm. And I'm trying to learn as much as I can about the craft. How has life changed for you post-celebrity status or whatever you call it? I, I don't think I've had celebrity status. But you are still a known face or do you have these no. moments where people don't recognize okay? Nobody recognizes me. <laughs> so is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. I can just, uh, nothing changes. So uh, the only thing that has changed is I've gotten more opportunities to be with other actors. I love acting, which is new for me. That's a change. But I, I've got to learn a lot about something new, which is a good change. But being known, I don't think that's a change that is that is important to me. Okay. It's not important to well, me. With regards to this film, was it the script or your character that hooked you and made you give you a nod for it? I'm sorry? With regards to this film, yeah. was it the script or the character that you had to play was which was a deciding factor? Uh, I, I read the script first. I didn't know which character I was supposed to play. Okay. So uh, I was just hooked on to the treatment note which I read after the script. First I read the script, I was like, wow, okay, this is complicated. I don't know what's happening. I can't tell who's done it. I was 80% done with the script and I still couldn't figure out who's done it. And I read a lot of books. Like I read a lot of uh, <laughs> Agatha Christie okay. and uh, things like that, or Sherlock Holmes. And I know how these things pan out. Most people, especially, Lately, the Indian cinema that I've seen, I've, I can tell who's, who's behind it all. So I couldn't do that. So I couldn't stop reading it. 
and then I read the treatment note it had uh, one of my favorite TV shows in it which uh, it's called Fringe mm -hmm. so when I read that name I was like okay I have to do this now because this just looks like a film I want to watch I can't let this go mm -hmm. and then I read the character and it was very different from Satyavati so I was I thought it would be nice to do something contrasting mm -hmm. speaking of social media I was chatting with uh, Anshuman mm -hmm. he had told me you had a very bad experience with social media you had off Facebook for six oh, yeah. months or something can yeah, you elaborate true. on that first of all I was trying to make the change from uh, being a designer to an actor and then I came to Bombay I shifted after the film and that time I wasn't very confident about uh, calling myself an actor mm. because it was an accident. So it was very strange for me to come to Bombay and meet people who've been living here for years, struggling, trying to find a role for themselves and they can't, they can't get where they want to be. And I was sitting in Calcutta and I got something so big. I felt really bad. I thought I didn't deserve to be there. So I, I left, I went back to Calcutta and I was, mm -hmm. shut myself up again and I, uh, I kind of went back to my same life again, being a designer. Um, so that is one reason why I had to get off of social media because I, I, I wasn't, I just didn't want to go there and put myself out there cause, because I felt I didn't deserve to be there. The other reason was I was getting uh, a lot of, um, negative messages and people just commenting on my picture, sending me private messages that too, not even openly, uh, behind names that I don't <coughs> recognize. Strangers just messaging me randomly saying that um, you shouldn't put pictures like that on social media or you shouldn't dress like this or you shouldn't voice your opinion on social media like that. Don't talk about politics, you're an actor or don't talk about these things because uh, you are this and that or you're a woman. So you don't talk talk about certain issues or call yourself a feminist. That is like the biggest taboo on social media. You call yourself a feminist and people just attack you. You realize how strong, like how uh, negative the word has become now. So that was another reason. I got a lot of hate on social media because of that. So I just decided why bother. And these were people who uh, didn't know me. So there was no way of actually getting my point across because they weren't willing to listen to me. It was just one-sided uh, conversation, so it was just pointless to be so there. So are you back on social media and how do you come to terms with this? Uh, I think I've gotten a little older also, I think. <laughs> that gives a l more confidence. I did shift to Bombay and I decided I did deserve to be here because I really loved acting and that was enough to deserve something. If you love something and you uh, just want to learn, that is enough. You don't, you don't need to be validated from outside people or people on social media. Nobody needs to come and tell you, you, sh you should be like this and you're fine. So I stopped taking validation from okay. other people. So talking about the dark side of social media, there is this school of thought which believes in digital censorship. Whereas mm -hmm. there is another school of thought which says that it's an open forum and people should be free to express what they want. Absolutely. Yeah. On a personal level, where do you stand as far as this um, issue is concerned? I think uh, there are two sides to this. You can use a tool like social media uh, to your advantage and you can hurt somebody with the same thing. There are ethical hackers who actually help you secure accounts and websites. And there are hackers that use the same thing to take advantage of someone. So I think it should be free, but uh, it should be monitored. And I don't mean censored, I mean monitored. It should be, there, there, need, there need to be uh, certain rules so that people like you and I, our privacy doesn't get, you know, uh, disrupted. You don't want everybody to be on you, like Big Brother, you know, on you all the time. But um, at the same time, there should be some kind of uh, police system, like cyber crime unit or something like that, that has to be there to protect people from cyber bullying. Uh, should be taken seriously because it's, it's very serious how people can just hide behind a name 
in absolute anonymity and just yeah it's very dangerous because for especially for younger people i think for teenagers and people in school who are on social media younger people uh it just becomes a part of their life mm. and they don't have their parents watching over these things all the time so um there's no proper guidance also about cyberbullying in india especially so coming back to the movie how was it working with shashi this is first film as a director mm-hmm. how was the whole experience with shashi yeah oh he's amazing both of us uh, we we watched the same kind of like our style of uh, what we like in cinema and uh, tv shows it's very similar yeah. so the entire time the first day i met him we started talking about all the shows that we've seen and what would be our dream show uh, so he was telling me if if they had this thing mixed with this thing and they made a tv show about this and they had all these things together i would watch that show and i was like yeah i would watch that show also so our tastes were very similar so i think i could get him from there after that it was just we didn't have to say anything he would just be like do it like this do it like that and i would get the references and it was fun working with him it was absolutely fun mm-hmm. I was it working with Anshuman because his lead uh, his first movie was with Dibaka same with you so same. was there any kind of a special equation that you said That is what he said to me the first day he called me to take my to take my audition and to pitch me uh, he said we are both Dibaka uh, <laughs> launches so we have to work together <laughs> So uh, that's the first thing he said and then we started when we met we started talking about um, Dibaka and how it was like during the show and how petrified we were of him we were so scared all the time um uh, i absolutely loved him by the time i got to do byomkesh okay. he had done so many films and all different kinds of films there is comedy in it there is drama in it there is um style in the bagar you know that style nobody has so i was petrified so we were just most of the time we were just talking about how scary it was and how nice it is on mona darling set <laughs> that there's no dibakar <laughs> i hope so dibakar doesn't watch this interview <laughs> oh no he knows that <laughs> he knows that but that's a compliment that's that's what he brought out he actually tra- taught me acting who do you think taught me acting? i didn't teach myself he taught me that so yeah i think he knows that <laughs> he's he's a, he's a um he's a bad cop i think cop but a bad cop <laughs> okay. any plans of you no know, trying your identity fashion back again or this is what you know about doing not right now i don't want to go back to fashion now i just want to uh, do i i want to act i okay. just want to this this mode of expression i think it's it's um, closer to my heart than fashion i didn't even know it but um, i think i'll stay for some time do you remember that exact moment or the first time you realized ke- Okay, this is what I want to do because you have never been an actor. Mm-hmm. You have never done theatre in your college or whatever. You had no background, no. absolutely. What was that one moment when you felt that okay, this is my cup of tea? I can crack this. I remember, and since you said cup of tea, um, me and Anand Tiwari, it was an Atul Mongia's workshop okay. for uh, Biokesh, Biokesh, and we were imitate. We were imitating drinking tea, and we were clowning. Clowning is this. Um, exercise in uh, acting there are actors who are dedicated to clowning so that is all they do aapne abhi dekha hoga thode time pehle uh, ek um, detail mein nahi jana chahungi but uh, do clowning actors tv pe aaye the aur unhone ek pura skit bina kisi word ke bina kisi shabd ke uh, they conveyed that i forgot the miming uh, hmm. the company I, i don't know what they were called but uh it was just brilliant to watch so clowning was the exercise that me and anand tiwari were doing and i just felt alive i just felt like this was i've never done anything like that i've never been this happy kya hum logo ko karna kya tha chai ka cup pakadna tha aur bolna tha chai peenge aur chai peenge chai peenge chai peenge chai peenge चाय पियेंगे यू नो ऐसे हम लोगों को बढ़ाना था और वापस उसको नीचे लेके आना था तो दिस वॉज द एक्सरसाइज एंड वी वर जम्पिंग वी वर डूइंग सर्कल्स और इन द रूम एंड दैट्स वेन आई आई न्यू दैट 
I can't I can't let go of this and doing it with a, another actor and an actor like Anand Tiwari his energy is just is it, it, it was just that was the moment for me I think I knew yeah. I had to be an actor or at least keep learning and keep doing this even if I don't get any roles that's fine yeah. what are your upcoming projects now I don't have anything right now I'm still uh, looking for something so what's your plan after Mona Darling plan is to find out if i can do comedy and if somebody no, would yeah. just let me do co- comedy for god's sake <laughs> who's your favorite comic actor uh sanjay mishra okay <laughs> and no, no. anand tiwari also even though he doesn't do that much comedy like comedy comedy you know jaise hum hmm. bolte hain but unka humor or comedy ka style alag hai um i really like sanjay mishra aur aajkal नए नए कॉमिक्स भी तो बहुत आ रहे हैं और ऑफ कोर्स ए आई बी एंड टी वी एफ तो है ही दे आर अमेजिंग दे डू अमेजिंग स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी ऑल्सो आई वुड आई हेव सीन दम ऑल्सो लाइव अ लॉर ऑफ टाइम इज जस्ट ब्रिलियंट विच आर योर फेवरेट थ्रिलर्स बॉलीवुड एज वेल हॉलीवुड थ्रिलर्स इज वी फो वन डेट आर थ्रिलर I think so. Mm. Kind of drama, no? Yeah, yes, I mean. If you put it that Trilla, way. Trilla Alfred Hitchcock is my favorite, absolutely. Okay. No doubt about it. Um Yeah. Hollywood. Bollywood. Bollywood. Apart from Yomkesh yeah. Bakshi, of course. Yomkesh uh, Bakshi. <laughs> I won't say that. <laughs> of course, I won't say my own movie, but uh Thriller, Thriller, Thriller. Uh, I can't think of anything about from hundred days for some reason because जब मैं छोटी थी तो मैं talking about the Madhuri Dixit Jackie Shroff वाला yeah, yeah I've seen it as a kid too yeah so good that's when I was a kid I saw that I still I remember think. that दीवार में जो चुनाने वाला scene था that scene is just like okay yeah okay we are done now thanks for talking to us thank you so much 